The hardest thing for me living with February is my family and people around me who, because we look and can act normal, and then when we're down, they feel like you're faking it because you can't see what's going on inside us. Listen to the spouse or the child or the, the Fabry patient. Whether it's as a spouse or as a mother or a father, you have to be the one who's there on the front line with the insurance companies, um, with the doctors and the nurses, and you're the one who, um, when they are too tired or in pain to speak, you're the one who has to do that. Be continually looking for symptoms. Um, we try not to scare our daughter with what it could be because we're, we're not sure how it could develop in her. But we're always aware and we're always talking to the doctors about what do we need to do in order to best help her. So I think one of the most important things is to have a diagnosis, to know what we're dealing with and then to go forward, you know, to move forward in your life. I mean, this is true of life in general. If you know what you're up against, you're gonna have a better chance dealing with it. You, um, as a spouse, have to be supportive, and you also have to learn as much as you possibly can about their disease. Have pamphlets available when you take them to the doctor that'll explain what these symptoms are, what the issues are. We have to go and, and, and educate the educated about the disease. If we have to see a new doctor, I bring information, pamphlets, websites. Keep a tab of all the pains that they say they have, the times, you know, what they ate before, how long it lasted, because the doctors look for this. They want to know, you know, keep a diary of it. Look to see what they're eating to see if something triggers an episode where they have pain. You know, is it exercise? Is it cold weather? Is it hot weather? Is it maybe stress when they get stressed because they're studying for a test? Find ways to help them deal with it and cope so that the pain and the episodes are manageable. Because that's all you can do at this point is just manage what you have. As a father, I feel like I should be able to fix it, and I can't. I think my husband gets just as frustrated because he can't help me with my pain, and there's nothing he can do. And for him, that just sends him over the edge sometimes. All you can do is try. You can't change anything. You can't make it better. He can't stop the pain. He can't help me with anything because he can't touch me <laughs> because I hurt and the more he touches me the more it hurts. Listen to their every pain that they have because a lot of people well it, it's nothing you know it's growing pains no it's not growing pains. Stand behind them help them and just comfort them that's what they need they need comfort.